Respect this call, that's all I can say. And even though they, they cut it a little bit short, this place looks bigger. But before we get started, I have to tell you the procedures to leave. Don't forget, the power chairs leave first. Then the people who do not need assistance. Then hold up the paddle and we'll bring your walker back to you. Okay. Turn off your cell phones. You're not going to hear it ring anyways. <laughs> and our next performance will be in the chapel on Sunday the 13th. And it's the Thompson University Ensemble. So I think it'll be a little bit quieter than tonight, but it'll still be enjoyable. So that's all I have to say. So Jim, you may have your mic back.
Thank you. There we go. I just yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. We've missed you for all this year. Um, I really know you enjoy having us back because usually in past years, by the end of the program, we'd have a few couples dancing on the sides. Right over here, we got a beautiful couple over here dancing to that last number. Great job. <laughs> beautiful. Keep it doing. Yeah. So, so we love, love being back here and sharing this magnificent music with you. We want to tell you a little bit about the next piece we're going to play. As you always know, we play a wide variety of music. The next piece was, um, is called An Englishman in New York. But it was arranged for us by a gentleman named Duvon Stewart, who was a phenomenal arranger and composer and steel drum performer from Trinidad. And he was with us a few years ago. So he did an arrangement of this. And since he's from Trinidad, he said, hey, this is not Englishman in New York. This is a Trini in Baltimore. <laughs>
about either until they came up with it. Yeah, it's get busy, right? Who did it? We all knew that, right? Yeah, okay. So, anyway, uh, back to uh, my speed and our speed. Uh, we're going uh, to a tune uh, that was performed, uh, written by George Benson, and uh, it was arranged for us by a gentleman named Ken, quote, Professor Fillmore from Trinidad, and he performed with George Benson and toured, uh, toured with George Benson playing Steel Pan. So this is uh, Ken Fillmore's arrangement of George Benson's Breezing.
You know the lights are always bright at Oak Grass. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought it was. That's what I thought. Okay, what do I know? Uh, so you're uh, on Broadway and there, obviously. And the first half is actually a little song. Mr. Hampton, the official name is? Old, old Lady Walk a Mile and a Half. We learned it as uh, Tilla Lay, little girl, Tilla Lay walking by. Or maybe a little older girl walking by, named Tilla Lay. Anyway, it was Tilla Lay on Broadway. Uh, and that, again, was uh, arranged by Ken Professor Fillmore, uh, who uh, came in to Catesville High School a number of times and worked with the band over the years. And by the way, um, we're so sorry that the pandemic was still hitting you know, through last year because on, in June of last year, June 4, we celebrated our 30th anniversary. Yeah. And so it's quite a celebration and we're still you know, flying high from this. You know, we enjoy coming here so much because while we're playing this music, you know, the kids are dancing, we're moving, we're really getting into music. And we look at you all, you're going, yeah, rock, rock and roll, okay, here we go, I'm ready, yeah, send me up. Yeah, it's, it's good, it's real nice, and you're just sharing such joy with us, you energize us. The next piece we're going to play was by another Trinidadian composer, Trinidadian obviously where these steel drums were first made in the 1940s, and the composer is named Ray Holman. Ray is a fine composer and arranger, and he also taught Spanish in a Catholic high school in Trinidad, so that was his main job because, you know, musicians don't make money anyways. And then uh, the piece that he uh, composed is called Mariella's Dance. And it's a very nice little tune. Ray would compose with his guitar, not at a piano or anything else, but just use his guitar and compose there. And I always want to remind the students that it is Mariella's Dance, just a light dance. It's not in your face, you know, uh, rock and roll. Right, okay. Just, just making sure. So help, you know, if they start playing too loud on this tour, remind them. Just dance a little, float it a little bit. Okay. Mario is dead.
Thank you. Isn't it delightful to, to like nice little dance? And we even had another couple dancing over here, so it is spreading. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I want to introduce the band to you. You notice there weren't as many players up standing just now? That's because it's a piece we did last year. Our new students didn't learn it, but uh, haven't learned it yet. I'm going to ask all of you to jump down for a second. And I uh, would like to have our fourth year players stand up and be recognized. Fourth year? Okay, that's enough. Okay. okay. Now our third year players. All right. That's right. The pandemic got in the way. Schools were shut down. Right. Yeah. See how it impacts everybody? Yeah. Okay. Now our second year players. With a bunch of our second year players playing solos, two very nice folks. Job down. And now, those of you who have been playing since uh, just after, in this band, just after Labor Day. All right, all of you Okay, recognize all of You know, they really restore our faith in humanity, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Give, give it up to the whole band, please. The next piece we're going to play is called the hammer. And the hammer is very important to steel drum making because all these instruments are made by hand with a shaved down ball peen hammer. So this, uh, the sound that you hear in the pan yard where they're making the, the hammers, when they're tuning or making the hammers, you'll hear, you'll hear that going on. And that's just, we set this wood against metal, but in the pan yard you actually hear metal against metal. So it's very loud like that. And frequently you hear just <laughs> being the sound, being hammered in, trying to shape the note on the on the instrument. So this piece is dedicated to the pan builders and the pan tuners who have their spe special hammers to hammer out the notes on the instrument. Guess what the name of the song is? The hammer. The hammer. Right, you got it. See, you're standing here, you're with me.
Thank you all so very, very much. Guys, give them a, some applause for being such a phenomenal audience. We love being here. We love sharing this music with you. We love the joy that you bring us. Please stop up, congratulate the students, and learn a little bit about the instruments. Yeah, get a try. Uh, until we see you next time, be, be careful, be, be safe, and see you. So you have to move your hands. You have to move your hands during this song. Okay? Very good. Okay. Okay.
Andy, or is it Andrew? Andrew Hamilton, thank you for bringing this wonderful group from Andrew. Be safe. See you next year.